What's up, YouTube? This your boy Trey, buddy. Today, you know, it's a nice day. We're sitting out back at my bar. I gotta clean it off a little bit. I went dove hunting last weekend. We'll take that cover off here in a minute, and we will uh, be watching a game or hell, just playing music. I don't know. But anyways, my wife wanted corn on the smoker, so I got my choice of my rig over here. You know, it's charcoal, and then I got my grandpa's. I don't know if he had he had this thing custom built. He had five of them made. It's either a '91 or '92. He had five of them for him and his best friends or whatnot. This is a gas smoker. And this thing, man, when it comes to chicken or corn, it's it's really nice. Uh, sitting at about, uh, what, 250? I'll bring it down here in a minute, but here's what's cool about this thing. It holds water on the bottom. You got your flame down there. And then you just soak you some wood, like me. I got mesquite wood in there now. Um, you hook your garden hose up to it. Excuse my farm animals. I got turkeys and chickens. Hell, I get about two dozen eggs a week and only got five that lay. Um, you hook it straight to here. It's got a float in it, just like your toilet or whatnot. You leave it on. Uh, when you get ready to drain it, you just pull this dude here down and open that dude up. It stops. But this is what's cool. This is my favorite part. I'm gonna show you guys. It's got a rotisserie. You can turn it off right here. Turn it on. I know it looks used and abused. It's because it is. This thing gets used. Dude, I cook three or four days a week. I cook all of my meat on there. I solely use this for uh, corn and drumsticks or you know some small chicken breast or something. It cooks the best corn and chicken. I don't know if it's the water, the gas. I mean, hell, I don't know. You can't hardly really screw the two up, but you'll see what I'm talking about. And I'll show y'all here in a bit. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> I'm going to start throwing this on there. Now, I wish I'd have showed y'all before, but I've already peeled this stuff back and uh, put some butter on it. And it balances itself as it turns. That's cool. And uh, sorry if the video is all movie and shaky. I'll uh, I got my my gimbal coming in the mail. I'll start making some better videos. But I'm always messing around, and people are always asking me what I do or how I do it. And uh, this is you know this is how, my style here. Now tomorrow tomorrow's my birthday. I'm gonna smoke a whole chicken and a rack of ribs. When I do that, I will show you start to finish. I'll show you how I marinate my stuff and why I do what I do. And now, uh, when it comes to that stuff, it's all preference. It honestly is. It's all preference. On, you know, your rub. Do you want your stuff sweet? You want it spicy? Do you want it? hot you want it mild you don't want nothing on it open that back up i thought i heard something fall when it comes back around i'll put it on it's, it's because i slammed the door shut and it was off balance there it is right there it's on that back side which is fine you know there goes the other one uh Looks like I might have a problem with that number three. With that number three rotisserie there. I'll fix that in a minute. Now you gotta think, this thing's, you know, it's over. It's all, well, I'll say over. I don't know. I'd add up the math. It's almost 30 years old. And it might be over 30 years old. I'll have to ask my papa. I remember I was just a young kid you know probably 11 or 12 when he showed up with this rig and he was proud of it and then here in the last you know year or so he he gave it to me and wanted me to have it and i'm proud of it i really am anything you know your grandparents give to you because i don't know about y'all but i don't have nothing given to me man everything i got i, I have to work for and i always have there's nothing wrong with that because I promise you, it makes you appreciate it more. It really does. 
I mean, everybody's different, but I'm a firm believer. If you work, pay for it with your own money, you respect it a hell of a lot more than if somebody just, mm, hey, here, have this, try it up. I, I honestly do. I, I, I see it in myself. I've seen it with my kids. I see it with my friends. It's just people work for it. They respect it. And nine times out of ten, they don't ever get rid of it. You know what I mean? But uh, anyways, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wrap this up. And I'll, uh, I'm going to fix this rack in here. And I'll get back with you here, you know, in about an hour or so when it's close to being done. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that, you know, like and subscribe button. This is your boy Trey, buddy. I'm always, I'm cooking, smoking. I say cooking, smoking. I'm either grilling out or I'm on the smoker smoking out or, you know, I'm building something. You know, uh, I'll keep you guys post-dated, you know. Like I said, Trey, buddy, Irving, Texas. I'm a jack of all trades, man. I concrete to framing to roofing to, but my hobby is really grilling out, working and tinkering with my truck, going to the races, or uh, building yard art. You know, out of old rakes and hoes and shovels, and y'all see a little bit of that here in a minute. And a bit, I'll post. You know, keep y'all posted of what I like to do. And like I said, you know, hope some people learn from it, build from it, or maybe even teach me something. I'm not scared to get some flack back say hey try this or try that or we like it let me know all right bye